Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I have a very, very disturbing update to the Sonia Macy case. Apparently this dude, Sean Grayson, the officer who should have never been an officer to begin with, he says that he thought that her intention was to unalive him. When she said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I don't know if that's a cop out or just a straight demon or both speaking out of this man. Of course, they're going to fight like crazy to get him off. And he's going to fight like crazy to make himself look like the victim. Ain't that what they do? There's no way to spin this story to make it seem like he was the victim, but that's what he want to do. Let's get into this. I don't think anybody is surprised at this point of the things that happened here in this country. But anyway, according to the Associated Press, uh, deputy uh, who sh took out Sonia Massey, uh, he thought her rebuke in the name of Jesus indicated an intent to take him out. Now, before I continue on with the article, this is some nonsense because he can't be too bright if he thought her position, as far away from him as she was, if, she, if he thought she had a posture or a position of somebody who could literally take his big behind out, this small, petite woman, barely 100 pounds, this big monster, want us to believe that he really thought that from her position, where she was at that time, that he pointed his piece at her. He really wanted us to believe that he thought she was in a position to take him out. Boy, I tell you, the, the lies that rolls off of the devil's tongue, the devil is the father of all lies. Anyway, says the deputy sheriff who fatally uh, shot Sonia Macy in, in her Illinois home last month, said he believed that when the black woman who called 911 for help unexpectedly said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, that she intended deadly harm, according to the deputy's field report released on Monday. I interpreted this to mean she was going to take me out. Oh my goodness, Grayson wrote. Adding that when he drew his pistol and Massey ducked behind a counter that separated them, he moved around the obstacle fearing that she was going to grab a... Mm, mm, mm. You see how these uh, it, lies roll so quickly off the tongue. It's crazy. You can't fear somebody is going to grab something. You don't see anything. So now, basically, this is saying that he didn't think the pot was a threat at all then. So this is a change up right here in the story. You obviously didn't think the pot was a threat if now you're saying you thought that she was going to grab something. Okay, Gracie, Grayson. A 30-year-old uh, Sangamon County Sheriff's Deputy faces first-degree red rum, aggravated battery, and official misconduct charges in the unaliving of the 36-year-old Springfield woman on July 6th, which has drawn nationwide protest over the red rumming of so-called black people by police in their homes. Grayson has pleaded not guilty. His attorney, Daniel uh, Foltz, declined to comment. Uh, Massey's family has called for the resignation of uh, Sheriff Jack Campbell, who has refused to step down, arguing that problems in Grayson's past should not have precluded a law enforcement assignment. Mm, mm, mm. So you can have all of this stuff in your background. Now this same dude, he know good and cotton picking well. He knows good and cotton picking well that if a black man was trying to get into that position, with all of those stains on his record, this hypocritical demon know good and well that he would not be making this statement right here. As a matter of fact, he would have never hired him to begin with. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway, the article goes on to say the family has hired civil rights attorney Ben Crump, who did not immediately respond to requests for comment by phone, email, or text. Grayson and a second unidentified deputy answered her call about a suspect prowler just before 1 a.m. inside 
her home, uh, Grayson directed that a pan of water uh, be removed from a burner on the stove. Grayson and Macy uh, char- shared a chuckle um, as he warily moved away from the hot steaming water. So I'm not going to get back into all of this again. We are all fully aware of the details by now on this case. But the fact that this man is trying to use that as his defense, saying that he thought when she said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, he thought that that was an indication that she wanted to take him out. Could this demon be telling us something? Not that the name Jesus bears any weight, and I'm sorry for those of you who don't believe that, but that wasn't his name. And let me just hang out there for a minute. The letter J wasn't invented or created until a few hundred years ago. So thousands of years, wasn't nobody calling on the name Jesus, okay? And the reason why I'm saying this is because a lot of people, they they want to say, well, there is power, but, you know, it was the faith of the individual that made them whole. Even the scripture said that. It says, your faith has made you whole. Okay, so done with that part. But I wanted to say, it's interesting that he thought that saying something in the name of J.C. was to kill him. That's interesting because when you really think about it, it's almost as if the demons in him know that the one who the world calls Jesus, Yahusha, it's almost like that demon is saying, man, time is getting close. Is this it? Is this the time right here? Because the demons know that time is getting close where Yahusha, the one who the world calls Jesus, is going to advance his people. And so that demon was saying, you know what, you ain't about to get me right now. Not right now. Because why would he think that? You got to be a complete doofus to think. If I mean, from a human standpoint, you've got to be a complete doofus to think that her words were enough to take you out. From a human standpoint. Now, from a spiritual standpoint, some of y'all know what I'm talking about. The Most High can do whatever He want. He can do whatever He want. As a matter of fact, there will come a time to where the words of the Most High's people are going to be enough to flatline some folk. The words, the crying out to the Most High, the asking, Father, come and see about us. It's going to come a time where that's going to be enough to move mountains. So I wanted to give this update because this, this joker, he's trying to get off. He's trying, he wants some sympathy so bad. I, I can see it in his crazy eyes. He wants sympathy so bad. Oh, I thought you were going to kill me, you big doofus. This big ogre thought that this small, petite, barely 100 pound woman was enough to do something to him so right here if you're seeing what I'm seeing dude done changed his story first you tried to make it seem like the pot was a threat now you're saying you duck, you thought she was ducking down to grab some, some type of weapon from behind there mm, mm, mm. keep in mind you don't want to send her over there why would she go over there and get a weapon and just try to take out two cops Wasn't nothing going on with y'all to where something like that needed to happen to where she needed to do that. You are the one who escalated this to this point. Now you want the world to feel sorry for you to like your your big behind was afraid. If you were that afraid and you this big, you were the biggest coward I've ever seen. Outside of people who act just like you, you know. Anyway. Y'all see this mess? This is what they do. They try to garner sympathy when you and I both know. You and I both know that this dude is guilty as sin. But he wants the world to feel sorry for him. Wicked is as wicked does. I'm done with this, y'all. Tell me what y'all think about this in the comment section. As always, keep it tight and keep it right. But until the next live or the next video, stay prayed up. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share and like this video. And with that, we're out.
be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.